Well, hi again, everybody, and as always, welcome to WOSN for high school basketball. Tonight, it's the Northwest Conference taking on the Western Buckeye League as the St. Mary's Memorial Rough Riders travel here to Spencerville to take on the Bearcats in an over-the-holiday matchup about 12 miles apart, both towns from each other. John Zerby here bringing you all the action. Josiah Stober here along with me tonight. Josiah, we have a nice matchup here between these two uh, schools very close in proximity to each other. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, look at both teams. You know, both teams starting off the year really well. St. Mary's coming in four and one um, on the year so far. Spencerville four and two. Looking at some of the just the keys for each team for St. Mary's. Uh, the visiting team uh, want to limit these runouts by this Spenceville team. Spenceville likes to run, so want to keep control of the tempo on this game. And then also for Spenceville, you know, really need to rebound hard as a team. Team Bach out, and also they want to take care of the ball tonight. Very good. Looking at some of the things tonight as we look at the uh, not only the game itself, but some of the starting lineups tonight. Let's first start with St. Mary's. They'll start number one, Noah Payne. He's a junior, six foot three inch guard. They'll also start Cobain Owens, senior, six foot one inch guard, number five. Alex Haney, number 13, six foot one inch forward. And then the two big guys. Let's talk about these two guys a little bit here. Josiah, six foot seven inch Jace Turner, and starting for four years. And then six foot seven inch Evan Anksman, both senior leaders for this Memorial Rough Riders team. Yeah, as St. Mary's goes, it goes around their big men. Um, like to get the ball to Evan Inksman. Um, they're one of their leading scorers on the year. Uh, plays a little bit, you know, outside, inside game. Can play anywhere um, on the court. Uh, Jace Turner a little bit more inside focused. Uh, trying to get the ball inside to him, but this, this team goes with their big men. And let's move over to Spencerville now. We'll look at their starting lineup. Number two, Will Sensiball, 5'10", freshman guard. Evan Osteen, a six foot two inch senior guard. Another sensible in the starting lineup. Six or five foot 11 inch Owen sensible, sophomore guard. And then the two big guys in the middle, we have Carter Sidoff, number 23, a six foot six inch senior. And Carter Orr, a six foot four inch junior to round up the starting lineup. Let's talk a little bit about the Bearcats this season so far. Yeah, Bearcats started off the year really slow, losing their first two games. Uh, to Elida and St. Henry, you know, but have come on strong. You know, still really haven't played well this year, uh, at least up to Coach Sensible's standards, <laughs> where he likes to get after it defensively, get on the boards and looks to run. But uh, this is a team that's slowly working their way into the season. Uh, you know, haven't done really well on the offensive side of the ball, which is kind of a shock. We kind mm -hmm. of expected this team to score a lot of points. Um, still putting up some good numbers, but really haven't shot the three well um, as a team. Only shooting 29% from beyond the arc um, and only shooting 65% from mm -hmm. the free throw line. So a team that's still kind of coming in, growing into this season. So it should be a good one tonight. Officials tonight, Tony Castronova. Asa Donaldson and Aaron Braun going to help us out and officiate things tonight. And one of the things we'd like to talk a little bit about is Coach Dan Hegemeyer from St. Mary's approaching his 600th victory, Josiah. Tonight could be the night he's had stops at Waynesfield Goshen. Actually spent four years here at Spencerville, Fort Loramie, and New Knoxville. And this is his second stint at St. Mary's. So it's going to be interesting as we get this thing rolling here as the tip will go to St. Mary's. That'll be Cobain Owens. The six foot one inch senior bringing it up, getting it over to the corner to Evan Anksman. Anksman to Noah Payne. Payne back to Owens. Looking for Anksman in the corner. He's going to try the triple and he's short. Good rebound by Carter Orr. Quickly gets it up to Will Sensible. Sensible finds Evan Osteen in the corner. His triple try and he's got it. Well, and that's big for this Spencerville team. Start out quick. They like to push the ball, get the ball up quickly. Have some really good young guards um, on this team, but we saw a big shot from Evan Osteen, comes in shooting 31% from beyond the arc, so a big one to start the game. And that'll put Spencerville on top of St. Mary's 3-0 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard as Jace Turner in the lane is a little bit short. Sudoff's gonna come down with it, but nice hustle by Cobain Owens. He gets the steal and gets the possession back to St. Mary's as he's gonna kick it out to Haney. Haney from the key there, misses. Nice rebound by Sudoff. Well, and here we see Spencerville wanting to run. Will Sensible, the freshman, Draw some contact there on the drive, but you saw him get the ball, push the ball up. He likes to get his eyes up early, seeing if he can push this tempo and draw some contact early. So it's going to be an out-of-bounds 
or an inbounds play, I should say. Owen sends the ball, will inbound the ball for the Bearcats. He's going to get it inside to Orr. Carter Orr, six foot four inch junior, playing inside over to Sensiball. Will Sensiball back to Owen Sensiball to Osteen. Osteen to Will Sensiball. Dribbles it around. Defensively, St. Mary's coming out in a little bit of zone here. Yeah, good pass there by Osteen to Carter Sudoff, but unable to connect there. But a good drive there by Evan Osteen. Found his big man, just wasn't able to connect on the easy two. So Evan Angston's going to drive the lane, and a nice bucket by Evan Angston, putting, cutting the score to one on the Lee's Famous Recipe chicken scoreboard. Yeah, and we'll probably see a lot of that tonight. You know, very creative. Guy got 6'7", he's long, likes to drive. An open shot there by Owen Sensible. A good rebound, Carter Orr, and passes it to Sutoff through the two. Yeah, nice rebound by Orr, kicks it over to Sutoff, and boy, he puts it in there. Five to two on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Spencer on top of St. Mary's. It's Evan Engsman. It's going to drive the lane, jump shot from the corner, and he's going to draw a foul. An early foul on Will Sensible there. The freshman goes up to contest the shot from Evan Engsman. Draws a little contact on his elbow, so Evan Eggsman will step to the line. Yeah, he's going to be at the Pantry Pride free throw line. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and the best service that you can count on. Evan Eggsman hits his first of two. He gets a second opportunity here. Eggsman converts it. Nice free throw opportunities there by Evan Eggsman. Owen sends the ball. Tried to get the ball in the lane, almost a steal there, but Osteen recovers and he lays it nice and in there. Yeah, Evan Osteen coming out hot. Five early points for Spencerville. Averages 12.8 points a game early in this season, so starting off early. Good defensive pressure by Spencerville, and boy, Jace Turner kind of got in Owen <laughs> since the ball's way there and draws the foul as Spencerville's trying to get out in transition. Yeah, I almost call that one of those good fouls, you know, because it looked like Spencerville had a man all the way down, at least past half court, and stopped the play now, and now they have to set up their offense. So Will Sensible, freshman, coming in here, running things. It gets the ball over to Evan Osteen. Back to Owen Sensible, to Will Sensible. Spencerville being very patient on the offensive end. Carter set off, drives it in the lane. It looks like they're going to get either a foul here or they're going to talk it over. Toad and Castronova and Asa Donaldson are going to say he traveled. Yeah, Coach Sensible not happy with that. Looked like the St. Mary's defender got a hand on it. Thought maybe they might call a jump ball, but officials came together and decided to call it a travel. You know, I know people don't like to hear this. I like when officials do that. At least they figured out they're on the same page. Yeah, you know, how many times you see officials call, you know, one thinks one thing, one thinks the other. I like I like that. Uh, by Tony Castanova and Asa Donaldson to get it right. Jace Turner outside of the three-point line. And now it's going to be Cobain Owens. Owens guarded by Will Sensible. Kicks it over to Alex Haney. Haney back to Owens. He's looking inside to Evan Anksman, and Anksman gets stuffed by Carter Sutoff. Wow, what a hustle there by Owens Sensible to get that block and a great pass. Ooh, another block wow. on the other side by <laughs> Jace Turner. So <laughs> the action going back and forth. <laughs> And this transition is fun when you have these big guys like Sutoff, like Turner, and like Cobain Owens taken to the lane there. 7-6 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Scoreboard, nice pass by Owens Sensible to Sutoff, and that pushes the lead now 9-6 for Spencerville. Yeah, both teams really looking to push the ball early. A great pass there to Carter Sutoff for the easy two. So. Both teams being very aggressive and trying to attack the rim, making some good passes early. Cobain Owens drives, looking inside. Good defense by Sensible, but Cobain Owens, nice little roll there for the Rough Riders. Yeah, well, the senior Cobain Owens really looking to take it to the freshman, Will Sensible there. A couple shot fakes and was able to make the bucket. Owens Sensible, nice pass to set off, and boy, Owen Sensible doing a really great job of finding Carter Sutoff underneath and open for easy buckets. Well, I think that's an addition to Owen Sensible's game this year. Last year as a freshman, really stood just outside the three-point arc, 
And then this year we see him drive in, saw him a couple weeks ago um, against Crestview, made some really big drives and finishes, so seen some, some growth in his game this year. A couple substitutions we've seen neither team sub so far, but you'll see Grady Smith come in for the Bearcats number 11, and you'll see Brennan Steger come in for the Rough Riders number 23. Steger looking inside to Turner. Turner, nice move in the paint. Hook shot, it's good. Jace Turner, his first two points of tonight's game on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. It's 11-10 Bearcats. Owen sends the ball over to Smith. Smith looking inside to Carter Orr. Orr, nice move on the baseline, gets it over to Sudoff, and boy, They've just been looking for Carter Sudoff, and he's been converting. Well, we've seen the Spenceville offense so far getting in low into that paint and then finding Carter Sudoff on the opposite side. And he's got eight points here in this first quarter, doing a great job of just being available and knocking down those easy buckets. Jace Turner from the free throw line just a little long. A nice hustle by Noah Payne to keep it alive for the Riders. Anksman over to Steger, back to Anksman. And we're going to get a foul here. Looks like they're going to get Evan Osteen on this one. Yeah, like their feet like, got kind of tangled yeah, up there. A little contact there, if incidental, but it was a foul. And see Evan Osteen coming off of the floor now, replaced by Michael Wood. Yeah, and we talked a little bit off camera before the game. Both teams don't sub much. Grady Smith, Michael Woods for the Bearcats. You see Brendan Steger in for... St. Mary's, but what you see is kind of what you get with these teams. Yeah, neither of them really have deep benches. They like to play six or seven guys. So you can kind of see probably some of these guys maybe get a little tired, especially how quick this game is going up and down. Both teams continue to push as a good rebound there by number one, Noah Payne. Payne gets it up to Steger. He's going to try to look inside there for Alex Haney. And Alex Haney's going to get himself a three-point opportunity. Yeah, Alex Haney received that ball in the corner and just drove through two Spencerville defenders and drew some contact and opportunity for an old-fashioned three-point play here. So Alex Haney will go to the Pantry Pride free throw line. And with all the new free throw rules, this is old-fashioned. I like the old three-point play. He's a little short and doesn't convert, and Sutoff comes down with the rebound. Owen Sensabog with the ball, gets it over to Carter Orr. And yeah, Spencer almost turned it over. Owen Sensabog with the soft pass, but Spencer was able to get it back and a little bit of contact there and draws a charge. Wow. Number 23, Brennan Steger. Well, that was kind of a surprise call. It looked like uh, there was contact. It looked like Anksman got the block there, but uh, Steger did a nice job of setting his feet and drawing the charge. So with just about a minute to go here in the first quarter, it's the Smithsville Bearcats on top of the St. Mary's Rough Riders on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Scoreboard, 13 to 12. It's been an up and down game so far. It's been fun. Yeah, 25 points here so far in this first quarter. Both teams really able to do what they're doing here. Almost a shot there by Steger, but left it a little short, and here comes the Bearcats. Nice transition by Grady Smith, and he gets it to Michael Woods. Woods gets his first two points on the scoreboard, now, now pushes the Bearcat lead to three. That transition offense you talked about early paying off for the Bearcats. Yeah, you can just see it from this Bearcat team. They get that rebound, and they're pushing as quickly as they can. Michael Woods doing a great job of running to the rim, which is what you want your big men to do. And was able to get the ball and go up straight. Didn't come down with it. Just went up with it, and easy two. Evan Anksman drives the baseline, and he hits a nice-looking jump shot, which cuts the lead to one. And it's just been back and forth. And, you know, I kind of thought this coming into this game it would be an up and down game but I've been impressed with both teams how well coached obviously two great coaches but just really played a very clean first quarter yeah not a lot of turnovers from either team especially with this fast paced game and what another great pass to Sudoff from Carter Orr so Sudoff will finish it with an exclamation and the Bearcats will Lead the first quarter with a three-point lead. It's the Spencerville Bearcats 17, the St. Mary's Rough Riders 14. After one, you're watching high school basketball on WOSN.
Cooling is your home in the energy efficient zone. We can call Matt Heating and Cooling or go to callmattheating.com to schedule your free estimate. We appreciate Matt Heating and Cooling for their sponsorship. Remember, Matt Heating and Cooling, go to mattheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Back here at Spencerville, it's the Bearcats on top of the Rough Riders of St. Mary's Memorial High School. 17-14, John Zerby, Josiah Stover here. Boy, we've seen a birdie fun first quarter, Josiah. Yeah, what a fast-paced quarter. We saw 17 points put up by Spencerville, 14 for St. Mary's. You know, and it's been all seniors so far for this Spencerville team. Carter showed off 10 points in that first quarter, really in the right place at the right time. Five points from Evan Osting, started off the first five points for the Bearcat team, and two from Michael Woods. As we look at their visitors, had six points from Evan Engsman in that first quarter, four from Cobain Owens, and two apiece from Alex Haney and Jace Turner. It's, like you mentioned earlier, very clean, limited turnovers and great up and down action. Spencerville with Owen Sensible will drive the lane and he finds Setoff. Boy, St. Mary's does not have an answer for Carter Setoff right now. Well, these guards are doing a great job of attacking the paint, forcing the defenders to step to him. And Carter Setoff just kind of floating there in the paint, finding a good spot. And another turnover there by St. Mary's, and here comes the Bearcats. Great steal by Evan Osteen. Gets it up to Will Sensible. He's going to bring it out and try to set things up. And no, he's going to take it to the hole. And misses just barely. Nice rebound by Steger, Brennan Steger. Yeah, not a bad take there by Will Sensible. Had to go over the much taller Jace Turner. Jace Turner did just enough to change that shot. And now St. Mary's has an opportunity to cut into this five-point lead. Alex Haney will find Steger in the corner, and boy, he nails a triple. Brennan Steger getting on the scoreboard, and now that cuts the Bearcat lead to two on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Yeah, both these offenses are really clicking so far. We see some good drives. we we'll pass there, another charge. This St. Mary's team doing a great job of stepping in front of these Bearcat guards. Forced another turnover, an opportunity now for St. Mary's to tie the ball game or take the lead. And that's Evan Osteen's second foul, and so Carter Orr will substitute back in for him. Jace Turner did, like you said, a nice job of drawing the, that second charge of the game. This is Steger over to Anksman. Anksman to Noah Payne. They're looking inside for Alex Haney. Jace Turner is going to have it outside of the, the three-point line. He's going to drive the baseline. He's going to take Carter Sudoff one-on-one, and he just misses the reverse layup. Well, good take there by Jace Turner. Just wasn't able to finish. And another take here by Grady Smith. A good turnover and a bucket by Owen Sensible. Yeah, what a great play by Sensible. He just kind of hung out, waited for the rebound, and you hate to say he baited him, but he did. He, what a great job by Sensible. That pushes the Bearcat lead to four on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. And they're going to go ahead and give Owen Sensible the, the call here. And, Coach Sensible is a little frustrated with that as he's going to be his second foul this game. And as we mentioned earlier, you know, these two teams do not sub a whole lot, Josiah. Does that, you know, as you're looking down the bench, fouls this early in a game, is that an issue? Well, it could be, you know, especially for both teams, Bearcats especially, their guards, they don't have a whole lot of depth. You know, really just play three or four guards. And we see here a good take, but good box there. And here comes Will Sensible. Boy, the transition was great, and Will Sensible found his brother Owen, and Owen gets the foul underneath, and it looks like he's going to have an, have an opportunity to go to the Pantry Pride free throw line. Well, and you talked about just the um, you know lack of depth for both teams. You know, when you're playing this fast-paced game, you know you you start to see guys not getting back as quickly, and we're seeing some of that already with St. Mary's. Is you know they're having a hard time keeping up with this pace of this Bearcat team pushing the ball quickly. Then some good free throws then knocked down by Owen Sensible. So Sudoff will come back into the game as Sensible knocked down the Pantry Pride free throws. He's going to give Owen a, a little break here as he goes to the bench with two fouls. And that now increases the Spencerville lead 23-17. to Anksman going to take a deep triple, and he's well short. Nice rebound by Will Sensible. Quickly gets it up the court. But a nice steal by Cobain Owens, and he lost it, and Sensible gets it right back. Yeah, really a 
Uh, so a little bit of luck there by Will Sensewall. Not a good pass up the sidelines, but was able to corral the ball back and give his team another opportunity here. Will Sensewall, deep triple try, and Will Sensewall, nice looking three pointer. He gets himself on the scoreboard, and Coach Dan Hegemeyer is going to take a timeout, and so are we. It's the Special Bearcats 26, the St. Mary's Rough Riders 17 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Scoreboard. You're watching high school basketball here on WOSN. Welcome back here to Spencerville High School. Matt's Eating and Cooling is your home in the energy efficient zone. You can call Matt's Eating and Cooling or go to callmattseating.com to schedule your free estimate. I also want to thank Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and the best service that you can count on. Pantry Pride in St. Mary's. It's the Spencerville Bearcats on top of the St. Mary's Rough Riders 2617 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Scoreboard. Yeah, we've seen a pretty good ball game so far here, Josiah. Yeah, absolutely. Spencerville's kind of on a little run here. Uh, but we see here in St. Mary's just a bad pass. Spencerville comes out in a little bit of a matchup zone to change it up out of the timeout. And we got Grady Smith with a strong take on the other side. Deciding to go all alone. Puts up V2 to extend this lead now to 11. What a nice looking play by Grady Smith. Grabs the rebound, runs the floor, and Puts it up for two. Grady Smith on the scoreboard now with two. Jace Turner going to take it inside. He's going to go right at Carter Sutoff. Nice looking hook shot again and rolls in and out. Yeah, a well, good possession there by St. Mary's. Got the ball into Turner right where they wanted it. Good pass now here by Michael Woods. A miss, Rebound by Jace Turner. Yeah, missed shot there by Grady Smith, but a nice looking pass by Woods and an open look for Grady Smith. St. Mary's now trying to get on the score, but it seems like they've they've went scoreless here. They're, they're doing a great job of getting buckets in transition that they went scoreless lately, but boy, Cobain Owens is going to answer that. That's a two-point attempt there, and now that lead for the Bearcats shrinks to 28-19. Smith over to Carter Orr in the corner. He thought about it. Tried to look inside, but it goes off of Jace Turner's foot, and it's going to stay here with the Bearcats. Yeah, these guards are so quick for Spencerville. As we see, just getting into that paint on multiple occasions tonight and then finding those passes out to the those wing players. We've seen it a couple times, or they found Carter Sudoff there down low. So just doing a really good job of finding those gaps in the St. Mary's defense. So Will Sensiball looks over, gets some instructions from Dad. They're going to set things up here. Going against a 3-2 zone here. A little bit different look for the Riders. And Spencer really doesn't have to rush anything here. Good shot there by Carter Orr. Maybe not exactly what you would want, but he steps up and knocks down the long two to push the lead back to 11. It's Orr's first two points. Hit nothing but net there from the corner. Nice looking play by Orr. Pushes the Bearcat lead to 11. It's Brennan Steger for the Riders, drives the lane, looks over to Jace Turner, Turner back to Evan Angston. Angstman dials up the deep triple and a nice rebound by Will Sensible. Yeah, we've seen that a couple times tonight from this St. Mary's team. It's just in and out shots. Haven't been able to knock them down. And a good run out by St. Mary's here by number five, Cobain Owens. Cobain Owens has eight points on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. It cuts the Bearcat lead to 30 to 21. It's Carter Sudoff looking inside. He kicks it out to Carter Orr. Orr taking a deep triple and almost nailed it. Just a little long off the iron and now Cobain Owens controls it. Owens is gonna drive the lane. He's feeling it. He's got the last four points for the Riders but he's gonna draw himself a foul. So just under two minutes to go here at Spencerville High School. It's over the holidays, kind of basketball. And you know, it's kind of a different thing. You know, you're not in school. The uh, consistency is, is different. You know, what's it like for a guy in high school trying to play over Christmas break? Yeah, well, I think your routine's a little bit different. You know, going from practicing after school and then coming into, you know, probably a lot of morning practices. Yep. 
you know. So it's a little bit different, but, you know, that's when you start leaning on your leadership of your team to say, hey, we got to get things done, especially, you know, in the, uh, you know, these holiday season. But another great take there by number five, Cobain Owens. A little give and go, and Cobain Owens, is he's really answered the call for Coach Hegemeyer tonight. Evan Osteen, a little bit long on the triple try. Nice rebound by Carter Sudoff. Sudoff looking here, but nice steal there by Jace Turner. Yeah, Spencer was having a hard time adjusting to this 3-2 defense, so a good change as we have a turnover by this St. Mary's team, but you know, really having to adjust to this 3-2 zone, you know, not able to run out as quickly and finding those gaps. So we'll see what Coach Senswell is able to draw up for his guys to kind of figure out this 3-2 matchup zone. So with just about a minute to go, it's the Bearcats 30, the Riders 23 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. And it's been kind of, I would say, not an up and down game, but Spencerville looked like they were in control and had pushed their lead to 11, but the Riders have fought back here and shrunk that lead to seven. Now it's Carter Sudoff in the lane, guarded by Jace Turner. Jace Turner gets a nice block. It's gonna stay with the Bearcats. Yeah, I really like watching that battle down low between Carter Sudoff and Jace Turner. Both of them getting really a lot of space to work, you know, knowing that they have such these guards that they have to defend. So both big men really working hard. Both of them a couple blocks on the night. So we'll see if we can continue to watch that battle. Cobain Owens not only gets the steal, but he gets the bucket. And right now it's the Cobain Owens show for the Riders. He has single-handedly shrunk this lead to five points on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Owen sends the ball, going to drive the lane, and he's going to pick up the foul. Looks like it's going to be on the floor. It's going to stay here. And just when you think the Bearcats are going to get out and get in the lead, Coach Dan Hegemeyer makes a nice adjustment defensively. And like you said earlier, it's really confused Spencerville. Yeah, Spencerville's offense gone a little bit stagnant, taking some, you know, some shots that maybe aren't their best here. St. Mary's comes out with the trap, but another good pass down low to Carter Sudoff with another two. It worked early, and it's worked often. Carter Sudoff, 14 points on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. He and Cobain Owens have been one-man shows for both teams, and now we're under 10 seconds with Brandon Steger. Gets it over to Noah Payne. Payne back to Steger. To Alex Haney, he's thought about the triple. Only five seconds here to go in the... Second quarter, Jace Turner, hook shot in the lane, and it's not going to fall, and it's going to be Spencerville on top of St. Mary's after two quarters, 32-25 to 25 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Scoreboard. We'll be back with third quarter action. You're watching high school basketball right here on WOSN. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Matt's Heating and Cooling. As we come back here to Spencerville High School in the third quarter, Spencerville Bearcats on top of the St. Mary's Rough Riders, 32 to 25 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Scoreboard. St. Mary's opening the quarter, opening this half with the basketball. Jace Turner had the ball inside. Got it back to Kobe Owens, back to Turner. Turner battling Carter Sudoff and a nice glass bucket there by Turner. Yeah, Jace Turner only had two points there in the first half. So big bucket wanted to get him going early. Now has four points on the night, but continue to see that battle there in the post between Carter Sudoff and Jace Turner. Both big men going at it. Carter Sudoff, 14 points in the first half. Did a really good job are just corralling some of those passes as we see here. He got a foul, but those guards really looking for yep. him in the paint. And St. Mary's now going to have two fouls quickly in this third quarter. And, you know, one of the things that you look at this game, it's been a very well-played game so far. Both teams averaging right a little bit over 60 points a game. And uh, as you look at uh, where they're at right now in scoring. Both teams almost there right now with 32 to 27. Will sends the ball a little long on the triple try. Carter Orr going to keep it, but if you're either team going into halftime, what are some adjustments that you want to make, Josiah? Yes. Yeah, well, I think you saw it for St. Mary's early. Um, after, we'll talk about it just a little bit after that big Evan Osteen three there for Spencerville. 
Um, but for St. Mary's, have to get it down low into Jace Turner as we see him there posting up, getting the ball in the post. St. Mary's running their offense off of him and a good defensive play there by Evan Osting. Almost looked like he was beat, but got a hand in there to knock it away. You know, I think for Spencerville, you just maintain what you're doing of trying to push the tempo as quickly as you can, continue to drive the lane, force the St. Mary's defense to collapse, then find the shooters. So St. Mary's going to maintain possession here. Evan Angsman gets on the scoreboard. He, nice looking jump shot there for Angsman. Cuts the lead to six on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. And one of the things to notice quickly is Cobain Owens with that third foul finds himself on the bench. He's been a big spark plug for the Riders in the first half, and now he's finding himself on the bench. Yeah, he was really a spark for this St. Mary's team early. Uh, had 12 points there in that first half. Really cut the lead as Spencerville jumped to 11-point lead in the first half. Really cut it down to five all on his buckets. But we see St. Mary's here, you know, have to get Jace Turner, have to get Evan Engsman into this game as Engsman back-to-back shots here. Let's see whose ball. Looks like it was off of Jace Turner. Maybe Spencerville ball. A nice hustle there by Turner and set off to, to battle inside. And, and like you mentioned, Jace Turner only two points in the first half. And Cobain Owens gave him that shot in the arm, but they're going to need more production from him if they're going to stay in this game. Down six on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard at Spencerville on top of St. Mary's. Great hustle by Noah Payne. Gets the turnover. Nice transition. Anksman to Steger. And that cuts the lead to four. Yeah, another turnover there. And that's what's really hurt Spencerville. I've done a really good job on offense, but I start stringing a couple turnovers or bad shots together. That's when we start seeing St. Mary's come back in and kind of an off balance shot there by Will Sensible. Now St. Mary's, the opportunity here to drive. St. Mary's now has cut this lead to four. And this looks like they're going to turn the ball over. Will Sensible in transition off the steal, and they're going to get Noah Payne with the foul. Yeah, both teams are really not taking care of the ball here. Both ends of the floor. Now Will Sensball here. Now they're going to call the on the floor. Thought he was going up for that shot, but the officials call it on the floor, and that's the third foul here by doing another turnover. That is Alex Haney. He's going to take it all the way. Alex Haney. Cuts the lead on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard down to two. Spencerville 35, St. Mary's 33. We've got a ball game. Spencerville struggling with turnovers. St. Mary's three fouls in this quarter, early in this first quarter, but Spencerville just having a really hard time scoring, but Will Sensible finds Carter at Sudoff. He adds to his 16-point total for the night. Yeah, another good pass there by Will Sensball, backdoor cut. You know, a lot of times you see players try to go up over the bigger player. Will Sensball, really good balance, finds Carter Sudoff for another easy bucket on the backside. So Jace Turner going to take Sudoff one-on-one. A nice-looking play by Jace Turner. Reverse layup, 37-35, Bearcats. Yeah, Carter Sudoff a little flat-footed there in the paint. And Jace Turner took advantage of that, and what a nice move there. Nice looking pass by Sensible to Carter Orr. He gets blocked by Angsman, but Angsman hangs in there and creates the turnover for the Riders. And St. Mary's here, an opportunity to tie the ball game. It's really been the turnovers here early in this third quarter that have hurt this Bearcat team. St. Mary's taking advantage of it. We'll get a ball back into Turner. Tried to give and go, but a nice job by Evan Osteen to get his hand in the lane, and they're going to say it went off Evan Engsman, and the Bearcats are now going to get possession. So Carter War inbounding to Will Sensible. We're under four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Spencerville clinging to a two-point lead on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Sensible over to Osteen. Osteen. Getting a screen by Sidoff. Hangs on to it now by Orr. Osteen drives the lane and a nice looking block by Jace Turner. Yeah, Evan Osteen, and we got a timeout now by St. Mary's. 
Coach Dan Hagemeyer is going to take a timeout. We are too. It's 37 to 35 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Scoreboard. Spencer on top of St. Mary's. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to WOSN High School Basketball. We appreciate our sponsors tonight. Our free throw sponsor, Pantry Pie. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and the best service that you can count on. Pantry Pride in St. Mary's. We also want to thank our free throw sponsor, excuse me, our scoreboard sponsor tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, in St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Three minutes to go here in the third quarter. It's been a back and forth game. Spencerville clinging to a two point lead over the St. Mary's Rough Riders. And Cobain Owens has now entered the game for St. Mary's. 12 points on the scoreboard for him, but three fouls is what's limited him a little bit. And he's going to draw a foul here. And it looks like they may get this one on Will Sensible. And that's his second foul on the night. Now we're starting to see on the defensive end for St. Mary's, we're starting to see some of that length. We talked about both big men, 6'7", a couple blocks on the last defensive possessions here that really allowed them to men on the offensive side cut into this lead. So we'll see here as Jace Turner takes the ball in but kicks it out. So Cobain Owens is going to maintain possession here, he's going to maintain control. Looking for Evan Anksman, actually kicks it to Steger in the corner, back to Owens, Owens over to Turner, Turner to Payne, Payne. Trying to make something happen here for St. Mary's, being patient, good defensive effort here by Spencerville, and Cobain Owens is going to dial in. I'm not sure he called Bank, Josiah. Yeah, he's really been the story for the St. Mary's team. And we talk about Anksman and Turner, but it's been Cobain Owens who's really kept this St. Mary's team in the game. And a big bank shot, 4-3 for the first lead of the night for this Rough Riders team. 38-37, St. Mary's on top of Spencerville on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Spencerville held an 11-point lead in the second quarter, and now St. Mary's has taken that lead, and Cobain Owens tries a left-handed layup in the lane, misses, but they're going to maintain possession. Spencerville struggled offensively. Carter stood off, uh, leading the overall scores with 16, Evan Osteen with eight, but really struggling to, to find points here in the third quarter. As Anksman drives the lane and misses, nice rebound by Osteen, he kicks it up to Owens, Sensiball, Sensiball. One on one with Noah Payne, he drives in the lane, he's gonna bring it out. Thought about it for a minute, nice looking dribble there. Owen Sensiball, nice drive in the lane, puts the Bearcats back up by one. Yeah, Owen Sensiball sizing up Jace Turner, kind of the mismatch there on the perimeter. He still takes it down low and over the outstretched arm of Jace Turner. Noah Payne tries the deep triple. And misses, nice rebound by Sudoff, gets it up to Wilson to ball. Wilson to ball in the lane, misses, nice rebound by Angstman. Angstman, now we're under a minute. Kicks it up to Steger, back to Owens. 39-38, Spencerville on top of St. Mary's. Jace Turner at the top of the key is going to drive the lane. Will they play for one shot, or are they going to try to get multiple shots in here? Cobain Owens. Nice backdoor cut by Noah Payne, and he converts. Noah Payne. Yeah, what a pass there by Cobain Owens to his teammate Noah Payne. On the back cut, finds his teammate, able to make that easy bucket here. See if Spencerville, last shot here, 15 seconds. St. Mary's clinging to that one-point lead, 40-39 to 39 on the Lee's scoreboard. Will Sensiball under 10 seconds to go here, gets it to Owen Sensiball. Over to Carter Orr, he's going to drive baseline. Orr, nice pass to Sudoff, he goes through his legs and misses. And Will Sensiball tries the late triple, and that brings us to the end of the third quarter. It's the St. Mary's Rough Riders 40 and the Spencerville Bearcats 39. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN.
Welcome back to High School Basketball on WOSN. We want to thank our partner sponsor tonight, Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? You can call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. We also want to thank our scoreboard sponsor tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Chicken in Lima, Wapak Delphus and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. St. Mary's Memorial High School on top of Spencerville. 40 to 39 is the lead, bounced back and forth there at the end of the third quarter. John Zerby and Josiah Stover here. We got a good one here in the walk-in closet over the Christmas break. St. Mary's clinging to this one point lead and Owen sends the ball, gonna drive the lane for the Bearcats. Nice looking play there by Carter Sidoff. Misses the tip, but Spencer was gonna maintain possession. Yeah, a good take there by Owen sends the ball. Uh, put back by Carter Sidoff, just not able to put it in there. And you saw that St. Mary's team really collapse. Wasn't sure sense ball was able to get it off, but we saw it there. And a great backdoor cut and a missed layup. But it gets to the offensive rebound. Nice hustle by Owen Sensible. What a beautiful pass and a beautiful cut. And Will Sensible is going to dial in the long triple and misses. Nice rebound by Alex Haney. Haney up to Brennan Steger. Steger now going to set some things up for St. Mary's. He's going to set it up with Cobain Owens. Owens almost lost it, but kicks it over to Haney. Nice turnover there by Owen Sensible. He gets in the passing lane and creates a turnover for the Bearcats. Yeah, Cobain Owens gets a little lucky. The ball falls to his teammate. But then a turnover there by Stager. Nice looking pass to Sudoff, and Sudoff with the reverse layup puts the Bearcats up by one on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard. And if your coach sends the ball during the quarter break, Josiah, what are you saying? What are you trying to do offensively to get back into this game? Well, I think offensively is just, you know, taking care of the ball, get the shots that they want. We've seen it once they take care of the ball, you know, they're getting shots at the rim or finding those open shooters, you know, but they got to continue to do that. But a great take on the other end by Jace Turner. See him and Carter Sudoff continue to battle down low, going at each other. And now Jace Turner giving his team the one point lead. Nice back and forth between Turner and Sudoff. Will Sensible kicks it out to Owen Sensible. Sensible driving baseline, looking to Carter Orr. Finds Grady Smith for the triple try, just a little long. And a rebound by Cobain Owens, tipped by Carter Orr. It's going to stay with St. Mary's. I think Spencer would be happy with that possession, finding Grady Smith wide open at the top. But, you know, for a team, you know, only shooting from the three, 29% from beyond the arc. We've seen that tonight. Really, only three threes, one from Will Sensible and two from Evan Osteen. The rest have been all at the rim for this Bearcats team. Osteen will enter the game as well as Michael Woods for the Bearcats. And now we're under six minutes to go here in Spencerville. Jace Turner, one on one with Sudoff. He's going to go at it, and he's going to be short. Nice rebound by Sudoff. Yeah, good defense there. Just standing straight up, not jumping, not falling for any of the Ball fakes there, and what a great take, and ooh, almost turnover there by Owen Sensible, and a short one from Evan Osteen, but able to corral his own rebound. Spencerville able to maintain possession here. Owen Sensible going one-on-one -on -one with Cobain Owens. Kicked it over to Woods, back to Sensible. Sensible now gonna drive the lane. Nice pass to Sudoff, he wasn't quite ready for it. Yeah, and that's the pass. It was there, just a little bit hot sauce on that pass. <laughs> and what a take there by Noah Payne. Yeah, Noah Payne driving the lane, using the left hand, getting up, elevating, and pushing this Rough Rider lead to three points on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Grady Smith now trying to get something going here for Spencerville. Now over to Owen sends the ball, guarded by Evan Anksman. Sensible going to call a new set here. He's going to drive the lane. He's going to take it here, gets it over to Sudoff. Sudoff back to Sensible. Sensible drives the lane. Grady Smith, open triple try. Just a little short and a rebound by Sudoff and a putback. A big rebound there by the big man from the Bearcats team. He's able to get that short shot by Grady Smith and cut this lead now down to one. So this Bearcat team has to get a stop. Both teams looking the ball get the inside. And what a basket there by Evan Anksman. Jace Turner got the entry pass to Anksman. Anksman held on to it, got the 
Layup in, pushes the lead back to three. 46-43 on the Lees. Famous recipe chicken scoreboard, and Sudoff's going to turn this one over to Brennan Steger. Big possession here for this St. Mary's team. An opportunity to make it a two-possession game here. Really been back and forth, one to three points. And opportunity here is a good cut there. St. Mary's, the shot goes up. And battle comes to Sudoff. Nice looking take by Brennan Steger. Sudoff comes down with it. Evan Osteen's going to drive hard, but he misses. Nice rebound by Jace Turner. Now Noah Payne on the move in transition for St. Mary's, and we're going to get a foul on the floor for Spencerville. Well, that's the only the first foul here in the second half. Or I'm sorry, in the fourth quarter. Neither team really in foul trouble here. Zero fouls against St. Mary's here in this quarter, so. We'll see if that comes into play here in the last 319 left in this game. So Angsman's going to inbound the ball to Owens. Owens uses his physicalness there over Will Sensiball and gets the bucket, pushing the lead to 48 to 43. Sensiball quickly back in transition. He's going to quickly draw the foul for Spencerville. Looks like he may get an opportunity to go to the Pantry Pride free throw line. Will Sensiball getting two shots from the free throw line. He misses his first. And that'll give Alex Haney and Owen Sensiball the opportunity to come back into the game here. He'll get another opportunity from the Pantry Pride free throw line. Will Sensiball coming into the night, shooting 62% from the free throw line, gets one of two. So now he cuts the lead to four. And St. Mary's clinging to a four-point lead. Coach Dan Hegemeyer looking for his 600th victory as a head coach. Only 16 coaches in Ohio have achieved that incredible win total, and Evan Engsman's inching him closer to it. 50 to 44 on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Will Sensiball turns it over here. Cobain Owens turns it back over to Sensiball. Now we're going to get a nice looking block by Jace Turner. The home crowd wanted a block, or excuse me, wanted a foul. Didn't get it. Owen Sensiball, the deep triple try, a little short. Nice hustle by Carter Orr, and Sensiball maintains possession. But Cobain Owen steals it in the lane. And yeah, two turnovers on the last possessions that have really hurt this Bearcats team. And a timeout now by St. Mary's. And we're going to take a timeout as well with 2.15 to go here. From Spencerville, it's the Rough Riders of St. Mary's Memorial High School 50 and the Spencerville Bearcats 44 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We want to thank our quarter sponsor tonight, Matt's Heating and Cooling. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to mattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. We also want to thank Pantry Pride, who's been our free throw sponsor tonight. Pantry Pride means the best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and the best service you can count on Pantry Pride in St. Mary's. Two minutes to go here in Spencerville. The Rough Riders of St. Mary's Memorial High School hanging on to a six-point lead over the Spencerville Bearcats. Jace Turner, who's had a really nice second half, uh, been a huge impact for the Riders has really turned it on for the Riders here. And now St. Mary's is going to draw a foul on Spencerville. Carter Orr going to get his first foul of the game for the Bearcats. Well, the Bearcats being down six, they've got to be really aggressive, see if they can get some steals, force St. Mary's to play a little bit faster. But we'll see this St. Mary's team, you know, has been really led by this group of seniors between Cobain Owens, Evan Engsman, and Jace Turner. Their big three have showed up tonight, and we're seeing it now is can they finish this game out against this Bearcats team? So Alex Haney controlling the basketball, getting pressure from Evan Osteen. Now over to Noah Payne. Good defense by Owen since the ball kicks it over to Turner. Turner looking inside to Engsman. It's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Carter Orr, but they're going to get a traveling call. Yeah, good defense there by Carter Orr. Kind of pulled the chair on Engsman and <laughs> have an opportunity now for this Bearcats, but they got to score quickly. 
and then get some stops on the defensive end. So Will Sensible will bring it up here for the Bearcats with just under a minute and a half to go as the Riders hanging on to a six-point lead on the Lee scoreboard. Sensible over to Owen Sensible, drives the lane, finds Carter Orr in the corner for the triple try, and Carter Orr with a triple. He cuts the lead to three, and it's going to be a timeout for Spencerville. We're going to take a timeout here. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Back to Spencerville High School for this matchup between the Northwest Conference, Spencerville Bearcats, and the Western Buckeye League's St. Mary's Memorial Rough Riders. We want to thank our sponsors tonight. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken for a scoreboard sponsor. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. We also want to thank our quarter sponsor tonight, Matt's Heating and Cooling in Spencerville. You can go to Matt's Heating, call Matt'sHeating.com to schedule your free estimate. That's Matt's Heating and Cooling in Spencerville. Nice game here tonight between the Rough Riders of St. Mary's and the Bearcats of Spencerville. St. Mary's clinging to a three-point lead. We've seen Spencerville hold an early lead in this game, as many as 11 points, and then the Riders in the third quarter shrink that lead and eventually take over the lead, and it's been back and forth uh, so far. And now St. Mary's hanging on to a three-point lead with just about a minute to go here. Spencerville comes out with a little bit of full-court pressure. Tried to get a trap there and almost got a wayward pass by this Rough Riders team, but just the third foul of the quarter, so still have another one to give. It looks like we are going to get a foul on Spencerville. Almost got the, the steal there, but they're going to get the foul on Owen Sensible, his fourth. And with under a minute, almost under a minute to go, it, I guess it doesn't quite matter where you at foul-wise, because Spencerville needs to get the ball back any way possible. Jace Turner is going to pull it out here. Owen Sensible is going to, excuse me, Will Sensible is going to guard Cobain Owens. Owens, been a pivotal player tonight, drives the lane, and he's going to draw the foul, and he's going to get himself to the free throw line. Cobain Owens will step to the free throw line. Has 17 points on the night. Really been the factor here, the main factor for this Rough Riders team. He's played really well, especially on the offensive side of the ball. And hits a big free throw, force it to a two possession game now. So Cobain Owens hits the first of the Pantry Pride free throws to push this lead to four. And he's going to hit, now he's going to miss the second one, giving Spencerville new life here, down by four. 51-47, St. Mary's on top of Spencerville. Alex Haney almost gets in the lane. Spencerville's going to maintain possession as Coach Dan Hagemeyer getting close to his 600th victory as a high school basketball coach with stops at Waynesfield, Goshen, Spencerville, Fort Loramie, New Knoxville, and now his second stop here at St. Mary's. Will Sensible, back to Owen Sensible. Sensible drives the lane, kicks it out to Orr. Orr to the corner to Osteen. Osteen the triple try. Evan Osteen cuts that Rough Rider lead to one. Coach Kevin Sensible is going to get a timeout. We're going to stay right here, Josiah. 51-50 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Boy, it's been a back and forth game. Yeah, and what a pass there by Carter Orr. Looked like he was going to take that shot but decided to pass it to his teammate, Evan Osteen, you know, probably a little bit better of a three-point shooter, even though Carter Orr does well himself. But unselfish play there, knocks down the big three. One-point game here. St. Mary's, you got to take care of the ball. I want to congratulate Claire Hoback and Josh Henline, Spencerville Athletes of the Year, celebrated them at halftime. I want to thank uh, their contributions to Spencerville Athletics here. 33 seconds to go. St. Mary's with a one-point lead. What is what is the thing? If you're in the thought process with the one-point lead here, you are not in the bonus. What is your thought process here, Josiah? Well, you got to take care of the ball, and you know, hopefully, you know, we see here Spencerville doesn't really need to foul right now. See if they can get a quick one here as St. Mary's takes some time off. Right now, though, probably want to be doubling. Maybe draw some contact there as Carter Orr will send now Evan Engsman to the free throw line. But if you're St. Mary's, you're happy with that. You took about 10 seconds off of the clock. 
forcing Spenceville to come and foul, but now you got to knock down your free throws. And this is where the, you know, in a tight game like this, the, the free throw rule changes. Evan Engsman knocks down the first Pantry Pride free throw. You go immediately in the double bonus. I mean, I don't, I don't know if there's a new name for it. I just call it double bonus. But you're immediately shooting two instead of being in the single bonus. Engsman, ice in his veins, knocks down both, pushing the St. Mary's lead to three as Coach Kevin Sensiball needs another timeout. He's going to take a full timeout here. We're going to stay, but, you know, as you're looking at it now, if you're Spencerville, really, you, you can foul because you're going to take him to the free throw line, but you don't have those one-on-one -on -one opportunities anymore. No, so that's where the you know the rule kind of plays into the offense's hand. You know, no longer that's a strategy to foul, and hopefully they miss the first free throw. You know, but if you're Coach Sensewell here now, you're talking to your guys and saying you don't necessarily need to shoot a three if it's there and you're open, knock it down. But with 19 seconds, there's still a lot of time on this clock if they can get an easy drive to the basket and then they got to be ready to set up that defense you know whether it's a, a trap early to try to get a turnover or to foul to send St. Mary's to the line but you know maybe talking about not fouling Inksman just look really natural stepping up to the free throw line knock down those last two so you know a lot going on we'll see what Spencerville draws up out of this timeout. Evan Inksman now with 14 points for the Rough Riders. Cobain Owens 18. Carter Sudoff leading the way for the Bearcats. He's got 20. Evan Osteen has 11 for the Bearcats as well as Osteen will inbound the ball here. Down three. Under 20 seconds to go here. And they're going to get a foul on Cobain Owens. That's going to be his fourth foul. But they've got fouls to give. Yeah, well, we'll see if that's part of this strategy here is force Spenceville to take a couple ticks off of the clock and then foul as they got quite a few here as Will Sensible driving and almost turned the ball over there as we have another foul. And see that that might be the strategy here with this new rule. Even if you force them with the fifth foul, they only get a shoot two. That's right. And that, that really does change things. I mean, especially for coaches for a long time here, as you see Coach Dan Hagemeyer wanting this 30-second timeout. He wants to talk about it a little bit. But, you know, as a coach and you coach for a long time, I feel like one of the things that you do is you develop strategies based upon experience. This is all brand new. I mean, this is a new thing. It's not new as far as, you know, this rule in college, but it is rule new in high school. I mean, navigating through this has got to be a difficult task. Yeah, because this kind of changes your out-of-bounds play here, too, is knowing that they're going to foul. You know, you almost have to get a shot out of your set play running it here. Try to get somebody open and get a shot, especially now with only nine seconds to go. You're getting to the point where you have to shoot a three to try to tie the game. So we'll see, you know, what these plays, as you said, experience. You might run a different play in the past set of rules, but now with this um, rules here, as we see if the ball goes deep and we get another foul. Ooh. And we will get another foul, almost a turnover. Will Sensible had lost it, recovered by his brother Owen. He got it back, but now you're going to get that fourth foul by St. Mary's. But like you said earlier, you, you didn't need to get the three-point attempt early because you had time, but now there is no time. Eight seconds to go. Coach Sensible is going to get use another timeout here to talk about it. What, what are you drawing up here? Well, I almost feel like you need something going right to the rim. You know, if St. Mary's is going to foul you anyway, try to get an in one, maybe yep. a, a toss up to Carter Sudoff, maybe a back screen, him going, see maybe if you can get him. Because if, if they have the mentality, you got a foul, we got a foul, it might be an opportunity where you might draw up a, a, an old fashioned three point play <laughs> to tie the game. So you really have to think differently now if you're the coach in this situation. I like what St. Mary's is doing, is they're fouling. You know, it was 19 seconds when this possession started. Now yep. they're down to 8.1. And even if they foul again, you're only going to step to the line for two right. free throws. So. Right. And that'll be an interesting strategy as well defensively. Do you foul? Do you send them to the free throw line? Or do you give them the opportunity to tie the game with a triple try? We're going to find out right here. Evan Osteen, he's going to kick it far court to Carter Orr or back to Sensible. Sensible takes the deep triple, but it's blocked by Evan Anks, or excuse me, Turner. And we're going to get a foul on the floor. I believe they're going to call that on Owen Sensible, which will then send St. Mary's to the free throw line. An opportunity now to put the game away. And that's going to be Sensible's fifth foul. 
So he will head to the bench. And there again, that was the strategy. Take the deep triple try, but Jace Turner was there to make a critical block on that attempt. And that's going to take Alex Haney to the free throw line. He's going to get an opportunity here to shoot two. Haney drills it and now pushes that St. Mary's lead to four on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Now obviously St. Mary's won't want a foul now that it's a two possession game. So big free throw by Alex Haney as he leaves this one short. Or grabs the rebound, he's gonna get it to Will Sensiball, but it's too little, too late, as the St. Mary's Rough Riders, they hang on tonight and get this win. We wanna congratulate Coach Dan Hegemeyer for his 600th victory overall. What a great career he's had, and what a great ball game we've seen tonight, Josiah. Yeah, and we really saw that senior leadership of this St. Mary's team really step up in the second half, down at halftime. But we saw, you know, especially Cobain Owens had a great game for St. Mary's, did a little bit of everything, really kept them in the game when St. Mary's, or when Spencerville made that run early in the game. And then it was Evan Eggsman, Jace Turner, and Cobain Owens all in that second half. You know, and we got to say congratulations to Dan Hagemeyer. 600 wins, what a great career he's had. Absolutely, and many celebrating here from St. Mary's, but also some people here from Spencerville. Lots of guys played for Coach Hegemeyer. Want to wish him a congratulations. We also want to thank some people tonight. Coach, or excuse me, A.D. Kelly Williams doing a fantastic job supporting us and hosting us tonight. Want to also thank our crew, Jacob O'Neill, doing everything tonight. He's got the camera, he's got the editing, he can do it all. The final from Spencerville High School tonight, it's the St. Mary's Rough Riders 54 and the Spencerville Bearcats 50. We want to thank everybody involved. For Josiah Stober, this is John Zerby saying so long, everyone.